So guys, we are back with the latest and greatest surrounding the first descendant. And well, guys, I bring you a dev update. We're going to go through this. And you know what? It just reassures me that the future of this game is going to be big, bright and strong. Today, we're getting to it all. Now, before we do go any further, guys, to say a massive thank you for the great support I've had on this game. I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants to you guys. And as you know, unlike some, my giveaways are actually legit. So I will pick one person on a weekly basis who supports what I do by liking and commenting on my First Descendant videos. The more I see you, the more of a chance you have of winning. Winners will be picked and announced at the end of the week, which is today, guys. So I will pick someone while well, I go through the comments of my First Descendant videos today. And I'll pick them and announce them later on today in tonight's video. Now, also, guys, join my Discord link down below. Doing a few more giveaways over there. Let's try and build an amazing First Descendant army. So I am back at it uh, this Sunday, well, afternoon by the time I post this video. I just want to talk about the recent information the devs have dropped in regards to the first descendant and farms going forward. I mean, this is what I like to see. I'm actually dumbfounded because I've played looter shooters for many, many years. Looters, shooters, Borderlands, Destiny, Outriders, Anthem, Bit of Warframe and many others which I just can't think of off the top of my head right now. But I've never seen a team, I've never seen a dev team do what I'm about to showcase to you guys. And at first, when I first saw this post, I thought it was some AI BS, but then I just realized it's not AI at all. It's just a translation because obviously they are not English. So English is not their native language, but either or it reads incredibly well for the future of this game. And this is what I like to see. Okay, so over on their Discord, they drop this in the announcements tab. Dev talk, director's comment regarding strategic outpost. Greetings, descendant. This is the director of the first descendant. I wish to share the dev's opinion regarding our recent issue, so-called Valby Run. Now, if you don't know what a Valby Run is, it's a farm I posted a few days back now. It's basically a zone recon mission where you can farm infinite amounts of gold, infinite amounts of Kuiper shards, materials, modules, you name it guys. And it's by far the best in the game. It's borderline OP on how quick you can earn this. If you've got a decent team with a few Valby's there, you can earn easily like 25,000 Kuiper shards every three minutes, over 300,000 without those gold buffs, 300,000 gold every three minutes, even more than that. And I thought, yep, yeah, this is definitely getting nerfed. I thought there's no way this is not going to get looked into and nerfed. But that's what this post is all about. So that's the Valby run. So this strategic outpost farming using Valby is what they state is currently taking place at the outpost within the fortress. Uh, this was certainly not intended, they say. Due to the systematic mistake, mobs at the fortress outpost have been respawning infinitely. And as a result, the amount of item drops has increased two or three times higher than that of other popular locations. To maintain our game and to be adored by our players for a long time, we believe that it is wrong to just look on and leave the unbalanced content, which is providing biased rewards. However, as Valby Run became popular very quickly within our community, we assume many players have researched Valby to enjoy the newly discovered content, i.e. this farm. What they're saying is people are going to quickly rush to research Valby so they can take advantage of this farm before it gets nerfed or whatever people's thinking may be. They go on to say the current issue has occurred clearly by our own mistakes, but we do not wish to suddenly remove it because it has already become a solid content for the first descendant. So we would like to inform you that we are preparing a patch without completely blocking the fortress outpost issue and to keep allowing players to enjoy playing like before. However, at the same time, we will update other farming locations to match the efficiency equivalent to the fortress outpost. Although we've insisted that no additional patch will be necessary next week, we have been preparing a new hotfix, patch 1.0.4, prioritize to apply improvements so that we could finalize the week 5 development schedule. The main purpose for patch 1.0.4 is to reduce the cooldown time of Valga strategic outposts and rebalance the locations for collecting void fragments. Also we're planning to diversify methods for gold supply by enhancing gold efficiency within special operations. As we continue our live service for the first descendant, we have no plan to respond by simply nerfing 
certain content for any gameplay which collides with our intentions. We respect every content created by our players and will do our best to create a game that all players can enjoy together for a long time. We appreciate your endless feedback and interest to our game and will endeavour to provide a better gaming environment that will fulfil your expectations. Thank you. So reading this, this is just a massive win in my opinion. It's so good to see a dev team and development studio not wanting to take away the player's fun, the fun that the player is having. I mean, it's a loot shooter after all. Grinding and farming is what we love to do. We will always seek out and hunt those best farming spots. And when those popular ones do become what we would say overpowered in regards to how much you can earn. If you have played other loot shooters, you're so used to these developers taking away or nerfing such farming experiences, farming spots. Bungie are the absolute worst in my opinion in doing so. If anything is found in regards to a decent farming spot within Destiny 2, Bungie are so quick to take it out of the game and disable things. I mean, it was the same with Anthem. I mean, they punished many, many players, including the popular streamer of Galad for farming. And yes, you heard that right, for farming, guys. I mean, I've seen it with Outriders too. Borderlands when you'd find those amazing loot farms they just nerf it out of the game and now we're seeing a studio doing the complete opposite to that and not only nerfing these things out of the game but what they are doing is is bringing other farms up to the same kind of standard now I won't lie to you as I don't think the Valby run will stay the most efficient in the game. I do think it will be kind of semi-balanced, but at the same time, what they will do is they'll bring up other farms in the game to be much, much better in regards to what they are dropping. That's the way I read this anyway. I mean, it may be completely different to this, but that's the way I read this. I think the Valby farm, although I won't say they will nerf it into the game, I think it will still be an absolute incredible farm. What I think they will also do is kind of draw it in line and bring other farms up at the same time so not everybody is researching that Valby and everybody rushing to this farm. I think there are both other farms to a point of people finding these other farms where other characters and other descendants can also take advantage of them and earn equal amounts of gold, Kuiper shards, modules, weapons as what we are seeing within the Valby run. I think that is their plan, long term goal and that's why we love to see people. I mean I'm so glad Nexon are actually working working with the community, listening to the community and just allowing us to play the game. These loot shoot, these grindy loot shooters, the way we love to play them. I mean, I enjoy running around in circles for hours upon end, as long as I'm getting rewarded for it. That's the kind of grind I love. I mean, I used to stand there back in the day in Destiny 1, farming Omnigo over and over and over and over again to try and get that grasp of Malak. Once you nerfed out of the game, do you guys remember the loot cave, the original loot cave in Destiny 1 where players would just stand there shooting for hours on end and a cave full of enemies to get those rare and legendary engrams. Some of the most fun I had, it's the kind of grind I love to do while just standing there shooting and farming the first ascendant is no different for me. And I love it and I'm so glad that Nexon are on our side here in regards to giving us what we want. But guys, tell me your thoughts down below. How do you feel about this? You feel like me, it's a breath of fresh air? Let me know. Guys, thanks as always for stopping by. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, leaving a like it really helps me out. Remember, join my Discord if you want to be a part of my first descendant army. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you on that next one.